Let's talk about Death Note. This is Netflix's new movie. This is the American Death Note, not to be confused with the BBC version with Ricky Gervais. Now, as many of you know, Death Note is the sequel to the 2009 hit movie Dragon Ball Evolution. In it, Goku, also known as Light Turner, picks up right where the last movie left off. Back the fuck! The filmmakers were able to take all of the great aspects of Death Note that made the original one of the most popular mangas of all time and then put that in the trash while they made this movie. For those of you who don't know, Death Note is about a guy who likes to kill bad guys and the police are always one step behind him and he's a lovable murderer. In the anime, Light Yagami is a smart, popular honor student who becomes a cold, calculated serial killer. By comparison, Light Turner is a uh, jackass. Are we really not going to discuss the fact that I have an ice pack on my face? Pseudo. Maybe I should try killing him. No. I should definitely avoid killing people I know. person you're after want isn't so different and maybe they're as ready to see the killing end as you are and if that were true perhaps now would be a good time to start helping them instead of hunting them it was you all along and who could forget the deadly cat and mouse game that is light versus Darkness. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. That sounds racist. Oh, okay, there, that's better. Also, Light has a girlfriend. And there's a Ferris wheel. Anyways, all in all, I give Transformers 5 a perfect 10 out of 10. Well done. Go see it at your local Cinematheque today. Oh, and uh, don't be black in Seattle. Don't move! Do not move! This man is Keita. I'm working with law enforcement in order to capture and eliminate. <laughs> Or how it Apparently, is. you have enough highly placed allies to keep you out of jail. But none of that's going to help you if we see you around.